So right there I got a little brine made up. Uh, mostly with salt with some other spices, Tex-Mex, uh, some chili peppers, a bit of regular pepper and I'm going to put my rabbit into that that I had out in the shed. I'm going to go clean those rabbits now. There's actually two of them. I'm going to put it in the brine and that's going to help inject a bit of extra moisture into the rabbit so when I cook it tomorrow it will be a little more tender and it won't dry up as much in the oven. Even though I will be doing it with the roaster and that keeps it nice and moist, uh, this is just going to continue to moisten it even more. Leave the bunny on, say. That's my brine right there with the rabbit in there. I let it sit there for, I don't know, roughly an hour. All those spices will soak in. And I'll have a nice fine rabbit meal for tomorrow. So once the time's up, I'll bag it up, put it in the fridge, and uh, let it sit there overnight. Hi guys. Uh, this morning I'm basically using uh, those rabbits I got a few weeks back to make up a soup. And I'm doing all the preparations now. Uh, I'm cutting up the cabbage I'm going to put in there. Some of the veggies. Uh, the other veggies, carrots, turnip, uh, parsnip, and as well an onion. Also, soaking in some water, I had it in there last night, uh, it's tough to see, is salt beef. And uh, here in Newfoundland and Labrador, uh, it's, it's an often used item, probably not the healthiest thing. You could add into the mix, but it's certainly worth it. Uh, it's basically beef that's been salted, and uh, people like to let it sit and uh, soak out overnight to get some of the high content salt out of it. So basically, that's pretty much all I'm going to have into the stew or the soup. Sorry, besides the rabbit itself, and uh, I'll probably add in a few peas when it gets close to being done—a can of peas, and also a handful of barley to kind of make it a little more of a, of a hearty meal, so I'm going to get it to chopping. Fresh pot of coffee on the way. Gonna hit the spot. All right, guys. So from here, this is how I like to do my rabbit soup. Uh, sauteing in the pan, browning up a bit is uh, some salt beef and onions along with the rabbit itself. So I do this for about 20 minutes, you know, roughly 5 to 10 minutes per side. Uh, flip it over and then I'm going to add in the base of the soup. So it's basically just going to be some water and some spices and uh, I'll let it sit in the oven then for a few hours. It'll be going in at a temperature of around 375 to 400 degrees. That's how I like to do it. In goes the water. So I'm putting in uh, about a couple inches of water 
and every so often I'll add a little more and then when the veggies go in I'll top it right up Sorry for leaving the pan in the oven, Heather. <laughs> now, would you look at that? It's coming along nicely. In uh, We're two hours into the cook time here now. So in about another 45 minutes or so, I'll throw in the barley, parsnip, carrot and turnip. And because the cabbage and potato doesn't take as long to cook, I'll throw them in around a half an hour after I throw in the carrots and stuff. So, looking good. Dun, 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 dun. She's all done. Uh, gonna pour myself up a nice little bowl now and treat myself. Uh, there's a little bit of black sediment floating around in the top there, and all that is um, is when I was browning the meat and more specifically the onions, uh, some of them burnt to the bottom of my roaster. I went a little overkill on the heat, uh, or maybe I just think I forgot to scrape it there for a few minutes and it burned down. But that's it, that's just up floating around, and that only adds a bit of extra taste to the equation. So I'm excited for a bowl. Oh buddy, that is wicked stuff. I love rabbit soup, I really do. It's a favorite meal of mine. <clears throat> Not like I didn't really know it was good soup already. I probably had uh, a half a dozen ladlefuls while I was cooking it. Last going off there, but I'll try a piece of the meat now. Buddy, that is some tender. And it's almost like I can taste a bit of flavoring, a bit of, a bit of spice in there from the brine I made. So, worked out well. So, uh, thanks for hanging in there and uh, checking out how I make my pot of rabbit soup. Uh, and hopefully you can get a pot for yourself soon. So this is it. See you later.
looked that good, I couldn't even get to the table. I'm gonna stand up and uh, hammer it down right here. Sit check. 